Hello, my name is Nancy Correa. I've been an earth and non-human animal activist for the first 36 years when I saw um, calves being punched and kicked into the slaughterhouse. I since then went on and documented all, almost all forms of abuse that humans perpetrate upon other species. And I, it's more important right now to be aware of other species because we are in the midst of the Anthropocene extinction. This first poem is dedicated to the enslaved orca whose sea world name was Tilikum. Orca. I still remember my original name, the one my mother called me. But it does not matter anymore. She is long gone and no one else remembers it. In my dreams, I am swimming in water where sound is submerged between waves. Our calls to each other hurt over vast distances. In human years, I was two years old when I was captured, but in orca years, I was millions of years of my tribe. It is in my cells, the water and sky, the clicks and whistles. The last time I heard my mother, she was calling my name, long attenuated screeches of fear and anguish. I heard my family's distressed cries. I listened until I could no longer hear them. I had never been without my mother. I had never been without my family. I had never been alone. When I saw my captors, they seemed small and alien. Why couldn't I escape them? They look so weak. Perhaps that is why they are so cruel. They put me in a tiny ocean that smelled strange and made me ill. Every act of humiliation is engraved. The hand they had me follow was also the hand that slapped and punched me. Kicks followed. If I didn't do as they wanted, they withheld food. They placed me with two others of my kind who were not of my family. They hurt me, bit me, raked their teeth on my sore body. What I want my captors to know is that I am, I exist, I feel pain, I love, I feel loneliness, a loneliness that is deep, as deep as the waters we swam through so many miles ago. Now I am dying. I am here and not here. I feel the frigid waters where I swam with my family. I hear them once again. I swim toward them. I am free.